Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about HBAR. It's going to be a relatively quick video. I just want to bring you up to date on things that are going on. Ethereum users who have never used Hedera have no idea what they're missing on. The only reason they pay so much for gas fees is because all those investments are viewed as gambling and there is no fairness in gambling. Real value will flow into Hedera eventually. We're going to see projects leave Ethereum over time. Man, after playing around with Uniswap with a meme coin, I can certainly tell you that these Ethereum gas fees and those uh, front-running membots isn't for the faint of heart. We certainly take Hedera's low predictable USD fees and fair ordering, no front running, for granted, I tell ya. It's always great to see what somebody who actually uses the network has to say about it. And I always felt that Ethereum, there's a lot of people still stuck in Ethereum. They're still stuck on it because they're so used to the fees. They're so used to the congestion of the network. Then you come over and you try out something like Hedera and it's game changing. All of a sudden, they don't look back to Ethereum ever again. Ademia has been awarded a $128 million contract to deploy TSA's next-gen credential authentication technology, CAT2. CAT2 enhances security screening, enables a touchless experience through biometric technology, plus digital ID acceptance. Now, this weekend, I did a video on the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset. And part of that is digital ID. And we see Hedera tied into this in so many different ways. But that would never make me sell my HBAR. Because I know that HBAR is going to give us all financial freedom in the future. You have to enrich yourself while you still can. With the fourth industrial revolutions here, if you invest in the right way, you can set yourself financially free. And the more that they talk about these utility-driven cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrencies with use case, it wants you to it makes you want to buy more of it. But you know, I want to see how HBAR and Hedera is tied into this. Because TSA, there's a lot of traffic that goes through there as well. Tokenization is the next big thing, and DLA Piper, a Hedera governing council member, has been focused on exactly that, all thanks to unlimited possibilities the Hedera Hashgraph network offers. And I'm going to play this for you really quick, because you got to take it from them. Hello, everyone. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. One and welcome to Coin Bureau Clips. I have a special guest here in the studio today. I'm joined by Robin Janaway. Now, Robin is former head of NFTs at Outlier Ventures. He's now uh, an advisor on all things digital assets, uh, a, a digital asset founder as well. And Robin and I, it turns out, moved to Dubai at around the same sort of time. We met at an event uh, late last year, and Robin is uh, a gigabrain when it comes to all things Web3, NFTs, digital assets, you name it. So People have to spend more time and put more care into these projects, so this, this nature of the, the copycat, I think, is done. Um, I think different use cases for digital assets beyond the PFP and the pure digital assets NFT projects is probably being explored in other chains. Hedera is a good example. Um, okay. So tokenization, this, this notion of, of, of tokenizing assets and probably representing them as NFTs, I think this will likely be on other chains. I think this likely will be on the likes of Hedera rather than Ethereum. Um, and obviously tokenization is going to become such a such a huge thing. Massive. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe either Hedera or new chains that are being built are being built specifically around that kind of security token, tokenization of real world assets. So, And that essentially will be a digital asset or NFT. It's just going to be in a very different form. Yeah. So Hedera is going to become a tokenization powerhouse in the future, not Ethereum. And did you take notice how he said it's going to move so fast and it's going to become so massive? That's what I've been saying on this channel for such a long period of time. I kept telling people, you know, listen, HBAR and Hedera is tied in with tokenization. This is going to be absolutely huge. I keep telling people, you got to buy it while it's still cheap. It, because HBAR is not going to sit at a cheap price forever. 
According to the FMI org report, grocery shoppers now visit an average of 5.2 different retailers seeking out the best deals. Retailers ensure your shoppers can use the new AI8112 universal coupon to maximize CPG savings at your checkout. I cannot wait for this to amp up. And I said it before, you know, we're at a time when inflation, it's not going to come back down. It's going to continue upward. So people are going to be looking to offset that inflation. How do you do that? Through coupons. And I think that's going to grow over time as well. So what is the Hedera Governing Council? The HBAR Governing Council is the governing body responsible for overseeing the development and growth of the Hedera Hashgraph Network. And, you know, global and diverse. The council consists of diverse, global, recognized organizations ensuring varied perspectives and expertise in decision-making. Decision-making council members vote on key network updates, fee structures, and policies to ensure optimal performance and user experience. Limited members, a maximum of 39 members, are allowed, each serving up to a three-year term, preventing the consolidation of power in a single organization. Node management. Members are responsible for running and maintaining the initial network nodes, ensuring the integrity and security of the distributed ledger. You know what I like about the Hedera Governing Council? The members that are part of this are massive. You take one look at that Governing Council and you want to buy more HBAR. What are the roles of these council members? Decision making, strategic guidance, marketing and promotion, collaboration and partnership, regulatory compliance, governance framework. You know, when it comes to regulatory compliance, these companies are not going to be playing around. Most of them have a lot of ties to our government as well. And you see how they are also growing out on their own, expanding the network even more. And, you know, people still don't see the big picture yet around HBAR. Now I'm going to show you a sneak peek of Earthlings Land's Floating Islands, I got to show you this because this game, I've been talking about it for so long and it's starting to really build out. Take a look. with the whole entire video because there's some really slow scenes in here where we're just seeing landscape but let me tell you something i've been following this game all throughout last year and i watched this grow from practically nothing and where it is today is absolutely incredible if all the games on hedera grow out like this let me tell you something they are going to be an absolute gaming powerhouse in the future Plus, this ties into Metaverse, and it ties into NFTs as well. 1 million trades on SaucerSwap achieved. Thank you, Sw SaucerSwap Labs community, for making this possible. Your engagement in Nights TPS growth enriches the ecosystem and fuels projects built on Hedera. Next stop, 10 million. You know, that's something I said right from day one. This is going to grow and expand over time. Also, it's going to become like a massive giant in the future. 
Then there's Zoop Collectibles, Ready Player Me, and Hedera unite to bring fans and celebrities together in the metaverse. Join Zoop's ecosystem to start collecting and connecting with your favorite celebrities. So it looks like this is getting ready to launch as well. Take notice how Hedera has non-stop growth and the projects actually grow out. You know, I talk about so many cryptocurrencies on this channel. You know, some of them are really lagging behind Hedera. I now see my two biggest holds as Hedera and XRP and XLM. I almost forgot. Those are my three biggest holds because I look at these three cryptocurrencies and I see the massive growth around it. XDC is another powerhouse that I, pl I plan on stacking more and more of because it's still very cheap. But, you know, as we're stacking these cryptocurrencies, at some point, they are going to blow up in price. And when they do, people are going to be retiring. They're going to be re they're going to be quitting their jobs. They're going to be living off passive income. That's what this does for you. That's what crypto is all about. That's what you investing in crypto does for you. And, you know, I just do my part. I keep you positive. I show you all the growth that's happening around these networks. I show you why they're a great investment. I want to keep you going. I'm going to get you there because I want to make videos where we're seeing massive green candles show up for HPAR. And that's going to be an absolutely glorious time. And I cannot wait for it to happen. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.